It's time to make it socially unacceptable. Uh, the consequences, we can give you example after example after example of, of young lives and old lives and families destroyed and decimated by impaired driving, be it by alcohol or drug. Um, and it really needs to become completely socially unacceptable. It needs to have the, the community. It needs to have our schools. It needs to have families sitting around a table talking about this, saying this is unacceptable behavior. The consequence is too strong. It's too great. Um, we have the tools. We have the we have the legislation now. We have partnerships. The, today's launch is an incredible example of the partnerships you heard from so many different uh, organizations that are uh, working to eradicate impaired driving. So it has to become something that everyone uh, in every family in every it needs to be talked about in the coffee shops. It needs to be talked at the sports fields. It needs to be talked in the schools. It needs to be talked about, and we really need everyone to say we can't do this anymore. Uh, too many people are dying. We, we look at the fallout and, and it just doesn't hurt and I don't want to delineate the you know the impact that it has on the victims but th there's fallout everywhere from something like this. There is fallout from everywhere. You, you hear people, uh, we saw it ex the example today of the emotions that are attached to this kind of tragedy because it's senseless. It's someone has made a decision to drive or operate something, a vessel or a vehicle or whatever, while they're impaired. And the consequence has been tragic. And those consequences last a lifetime. People still look at the pictures of that person that's gone. The consequence on the person who did the impaired driving, if they survive it, lasts for a lifetime and it impacts them. It impacts the emergency responders who attend these crashes, after crash after crash after crash, be it EMS, be it police, the hospital staff, the victim services, Mad Canada. So it is huge and it impacts all aspects of life and we just need to have people make it a social decision. We can't allow this in Canada anymore. Talk to me about point zero five and what that means. Point zero five, it just allows us to reduce that amount so that we can get people before the courts quicker and, and to make sure people recognize that if you're point zero five, you're already impaired. You are a danger to yourself and everyone else. And it just, by having it a point zero five or having a point zero eight, actually the best thing I love to see is our young folks now that have to be zero. They have a drink, they can't drive. And what a great message and it's a great habit to get into. And when you hear people, their, their children say, no, you can't drive, you had a drink. Then listen to your kids and don't drive. I think it's an important thing. It's another great tool and it just reinforces that message. Don't drink and drive.